Hello guys, welcome back to Archangel RC. Today I would like to point your attention to an essential tool for anybody looking to get into or is already in this hobby, the soldering iron, and in this case, the Secure SQ001 model, provided for testing and reviewing by Secure Mo, for which I am very grateful. I've had the TS100 for quite a while and it's a stellar product, so I have been thinking about getting a second one to keep in my workshop as the first one is in my field case, so this offer by Secure Mode to review their version came right on time. Indeed, you will notice that the TS100 and the SQ001 are pretty similar, and in fact, the differences are pretty much cosmetic. Even the hot ends fit both equally well. The only major difference that I saw was the box it came in, and the fact that the TS100 did not come with a power cable in the box as a set. I had to DIY that one myself. I know it can be purchased separately, or at least it could a few years back when I got mine, but the SQ001 comes with it in the box and it is well made and works, which makes the set pretty much complete and ready to use out of the box, provided you have a 3-6S LiPo battery with an XT60 connector on it. The downside is, the SQ001's box is unnecessarily big and takes a lot of space if you want to carry this with you on the go, so you will have to take it out and have all of the pieces just rolling around, or you can buy the optional carry case, whereas the TS100's box is nice and slim, or at least it used to be when I got mine, and is quite convenient to take with you all boxed up with everything you need. To make things even better, since I have a 24 volt solar system in my workshop, I had wanted to be able to power a soldering iron from it, and since these operate on up to 24 volts, that is now going to be the norm. I have already added a supply cable from that system with an XT60 connector for the SQ001. Ever since I got it, I have been using it a good deal on a number of projects, and it has held up pretty good. 24 volts gives it quite a bit of grunt, it heats up very quickly and has heating power to spare, even for thicker cables and tougher jobs, but also works quite well for the finer things. I am seeing 60 to 70 watts on the current meter while heating up, so a decent amount of power for most applications. I got it with one thicker and wider tip, and also with a thin tip to suit a variety of situations. Using it with a 6S LiPo battery to do some work on my electric motorcycle in the garage has been priceless because it is small and convenient, easy to hold, and I can program the temperature to make sure I don't ruin the insulation on the cables. At the other end of the scale were these eChine CX-10A microcopters which needed their batteries replaced as well as the occasional motor, and the fine tip was perfect for the job. Not having to wrestle with a larger soldering iron with a thicker tip has made this whole process quite a breeze since I had to do this to 15 units. It even comes with this convenient little stand with a sponge in there for added working convenience. On their website you can also choose from a variety of tips, so it is by no means limited to only these two, and I was indeed surprised to see how many options were available. You can also buy a dedicated power brick for it, so you can power it from a wall socket, or a USB-C power delivery enabled cable for use with the appropriate power modules, if you have them. Now this could be plenty useful. I've always loved this style of soldering irons, as they do provide a lot of flexibility, provided you have a suitable 12 to 24 volt DC power source, and in this hobby we all do, so powering it shouldn't be a problem. You need to keep in mind that it will heat up quicker at higher voltage, but it works very well throughout the range. The soldering iron is quite simple to operate, and you wouldn't really need to know or use more than one or two functions, but I was surprised how well the user manual is written, and how easy was to understand, but either so, here are some of the more useful functions. First and foremost, plugging in the supply powers on the soldering iron without the need to press any buttons, but in order to get it to heat up you will have to press button A, and shortly it should reach the preset default operating temperature. If you want to change the temperature, hold down button A or B until the side arrows show up, and then using the buttons you can go up or down the temperature range between a 100 degrees Celsius lower limit and a 400 degrees Celsius upper limit. 
Once you stop pressing any buttons for a few seconds, the display will show current temperature and will start the desired temperature change to match the new required temperature. If you want to return to standby mode without having to disconnect the power, you can hold both buttons down at the same time for 2 seconds, which will cause the soldering iron to go into standby mode and cool down to 200 degrees Celsius and stay at the ready while you do your preparations. Then, when you press the A button to start it up again, Heating to the selected temperature will take very little time. Disconnecting power works too, but then it will have to heat up from cold, which takes a bit more time if you're running a lower voltage and involves more fiddling. Overall, an awesome product and a good bundle. I trust it will work well and for a long time to come, as I do a lot of soldering and need reliable tools. The TS100 has proven itself already. I am certain this one will too. If you have found this video useful, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already and comment or in any other way engage with this video as it helps it get seen more and helps my channel grow. Using any of the affiliate links in the description below to purchase anything from those websites will help support this channel and my family at no additional cost to you. Another way you can support me is Patreon, the link is also there and I would like to express my eternal gratitude to all the people who have supported me so far in any way and would continue to do so. I wish you all successful soldering and I will see you in the next video.